See, what a lot of people don't know is that the movie, The Matrix, is, is more of a documentary than it is a movie. See, anytime Neo needed to accomplish something, they would just simply upload the program. If he needed to know Taekwondo, if he needed to know karate, if he needed to speak a different language, he would literally just upload the program to Neo's consciousness. Well, life works the same. There is a program. We all run programs. And it doesn't matter if you're at the county fair. It doesn't matter if you're at the family cookout. It doesn't matter if you're at home watching a movie in the basement or on vacation with your, your wife or your husband. We're all running a program. And you have default settings within your subconscious. And we have Many of us deal with laziness. Many of us deal with anger. Many of us deal with frustration. And these are different programs that we run. And so now you need to deliberately investigate and examine your internal man and ask yourself, what are the programs I'm running? Because for many of us, laziness is a program. Procrastination is a program. Anger and anguish and bitterness and unforgiveness is a program. And if you're gonna hang on to grief and anger and unforgiveness because of the lawsuit or because of the jail time or because of the record that you think somebody messed up or the messy divorce you are going through or the job you lost or the business that tanked, I don't care what the adversity has been, you have two choices. You can be unforgiving, bitter, angry, upset and be a carrier of grief or you can choose resilience. You can cope with what happened. You can upload the program of resilience and recover all and get back to the place where you were before the fall. Get up! Stop waiting for the storm to pass and ask yourself the question, what can I accomplish in the rain? We get one shot at this gig right here, life. So do not wait, go forward. No more waiting for the perfect moment and no more indecision and no more lies. Take the action, get out of bed, get your feet on the ground, step forward. Give every day everything you've got, every ounce of energy, every bead of sweat, every drop of blood until your last breath and don't let another day slip by. Stop praying that the storm will pass over you and pray to grow through the storm. Stop going around it, go through it. What you go through, you will grow through. Some fights are not won in the first round. Flat out, the moment that you get that and you get crystal clear and you accept the fact that there are some giants that you will not defeat. You know what I hear? I hear the clock ticking. And time waits for no man. Life goes by and it goes by quick. Don't waste those years. Don't waste them. Live them. I want you to be terrified of sitting on the sidelines and doing nothing. Waking up in six days or six weeks or six years or 60 years and being no closer to your goal. You've made no progress. That is the nightmare. That is what you really need to be afraid of, being stagnant. So get up and go. That idea isn't going to execute itself. That book isn't going to write itself. Those weights out in the gym, they aren't going to move themselves. You have to do it, and you have to do it now. Don't wait anymore, don't think anymore, don't plan anymore, don't contemplate anymore, don't make any more excuses or justifications, don't rationalize anything else. No, take the risk. Take the gamble, take the first step, take action now. No complacency, no backing off, no slack whatsoever. What can I build?
under these conditions. Resilience is based on compassion for ourselves as well as compassion for others. The future is hinged on your resiliency. Your family is depending on you to put in the work. Your friends, your circles of influence, your mentors, there are people all over the world who are depending on you. So our wounds become wisdom because our perspective. We have a new program. It's called Resiliency. No more dreaming. Dreaming is over. I need specifics. What are you doing on Monday? What are you doing on Tuesday? What are you doing on Wednesday? You need to be very specific. It's time to put your pieces together of your puzzle. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got, using ourselves up, sharing what we brought into the universe to share. Because if we don't, nobody else will. Stop wasting valuable time. If we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take on a whole new meaning. When we tackle obstacles, when we face adversity and conflict, it is only then that we find hidden reserves of courage and resilience we didn't even know we had. It's literally only when we face failure that we realize these resources are always there within us. We only need to find them to fulfill our destinies. After life has beaten you and broken you into pieces, Resiliency is that gift and ability. It's the discipline to turn those pieces into a work of art. When you die, when life is over for you, I don't want you to have one idea left in you. I don't want one dream left in you. When you die, I want you to go for broke. Every CD that you were supposed to do, every book you were supposed to write, I want you to get everything out your system. It's your reaction to adversity, not adversity itself, that determines how your life story will develop. Rock bottom is the sound of foundation to build the future. When you've lost everything, you have everything you need. Resiliency says, I tried and I failed. Resiliency has its own mentality. The program of resiliency says, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed, I tried and I failed again. I'm going to start again and I'm not waiting till Monday. I'm going to start right now. Tried again and again, and I succeeded. You need to be in a big damn hurry. Time is running out on you. There's 86,400 seconds in a day. The separator between me and you and people that win and lose is what we do with those seconds. And you're too slow. You're too casual. You think too much. You need to get in a hurry because there's an end to your life, and it's coming sooner than you think. It goes by in a flicker, and at some point, it's going to be over.